What's up everyone, Danny Light and back with another CSR2 video. Today we are checking out Eddie's Rod and Custom Corvette. This is a very cool car. We are going to do a maxed out stage 6 shift pattern in tune. We're going to do a stage 5 shift pattern in tune. We're going to see if there's a live racing setup and we're going to do a review on the car. So let's get started with the maxed out stage 6 <laughs> shift in tune. And huge shout out to YouTuber Nitro for CSR. Make sure you guys check him out on YouTube and let's get to it when this car is 100 percent maxed out this is the way we're going to tune it and shift it so our nitrous goes all the way to the right final drive 2.00 tire pressure 26 psi we have a 53 and a 47 up top that puts us as a 6.937 on the dyno time to drive this car let go of the gas exactly at number one to launch the needle's going to kick back, instantly shift into second, hit your nitrous, all the rest of the shifts right before the red line. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third, fourth, fifth, sixth gear, and that's all she wrote. Very easy car to drive, actually. Right there, we got a 6.848. Not a bad score at all, or time, I should say. Hey, where'd my car go? Anyways, we're going to fit this to stage 5 parts and do, oh, there it is, and do a stage 5 shift and tune. When you have this car on stage 5 parts only with all the fusions, nitrous all the way to the right, final drive 2.00, tire pressure 26 psi, 53 and 47 up top. This thing has a dyno of an 8.633 on stage 5. That is crazy fast. To drive it on stage 5, let go of the gas right at number 1 to launch. The needle's going to kick back. Right after shift in the second, hit your nitrous. All the shifts right before the red line. 3, 2, 1, go. Second nitrous. Third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. And that's pretty much all she wrote. Very, very easy to drive on stage five and stage six. There we got an 8.475. Not a bad run at all. And this thing is destroying the dyno. And that's unbelievably fast for a stage five car. All right, we're about to go do a live racing setup for this. And I want to say thank you to all of my channel members. Your support really helps this channel keep going. We only make like one to three dollars per 1000 views on gaming videos. So we don't make a lot. So that support is a big help. Thank you guys so much. If you would like to become a channel member, just click the little join button below the video. It helps the channel big time. But let's get to the live racing setup and let's go do it to it. So when it comes to a low performance point high evo live racing setup, I do have something a little bit weird. So let's start on our engine, put that to stock. Turbo stock, intake stock, nitrous stage 3, body stage 4, tire stage 3, transmission stage 4. Nitrous on 42 and 4.3. Final drive 2.0. Tire pressure, 26 PSI. That gives us 11.195 on the dyno, and our goal is to run as close to 11.2 as possible, but not go faster than 11.2. That way the car doesn't keep getting picked up and put into different lobbies. This will allow you to win live races, but stay in the same lobby. Three, two, one, let go. Second and nitrous. Third gear, fourth gear, and that's pretty much all she wrote. It's a very easy car to drive. We do want to downshift once or twice to make sure we don't beat 11.2, which we did. There we hit 11.1, so we should have slowed down. If you go faster than 11.2, it might pick you up and move you into a faster lobby where you're not able to win anymore. So with this type of setup, we want to run as close to 11.2 as possible, but not go faster. All right, I think it's time to do a review on this crazy car, so let's get to it, and we'll let you know if it's any good. Of course, you can probably see that it's very good. It's very good. Very, very, very good. The 0 to 60 and 0 to 100 times are crazy good. Very, very fast acceleration. Top speed is over 400 miles per hour. 
The car is beating the dyno time by a pretty decent amount on stage 5 and stage 6, and even a little bit on the live racing setup, which we probably don't want to do, but you know, I explained all that earlier. It's really fast on stage 5, which you just can't complain about. With enough parts, it'll easily beat the Tempest races. If you get this car, it's definitely going to be worth leveling up. It does have a nice live racing setup. I mean, it, it's really fast. It's, it's going to be one of those cars that should be good at everything. Now, it's a little weird on the live racing setup, but I still assume it's going to get a huge lobby advantage like most of the cars do. I can't take the content account into live racing and actually test it. That's the only downside, but 98% of the time when you find this kind of a tune on a car... It does great on live racing because it gets some sort of weird lobby advantage that just lets it win without beating the dyno time. And then your car doesn't get stuck in the same lobby. Or it gets stuck in the same lobby. It doesn't get picked up and moved to a faster lobby four, five, six times in a row. And then next thing you know, your car won't win live races anymore. So then you don't have to go through the hassle of resetting your car. So these low performance point high Evo things are amazing. I just want you guys to know I work very hard. I put a lot of time into my YouTube channels. I actually have three channels. I put in 10 to 15 hours a day, seven days a week between the three channels, which is crazy. I do my best to make videos to help you guys out, keep you informed, to give you real honest information. So help me out, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. My channel is here to help you out. So do me a favor, just like and subscribe. I would appreciate that big time. If you drop down the video's description, you're going to find my other YouTube channels, my Discord server, some ways to help support the channel, some affiliate links, and all kinds of good stuff. Some game news, some information, some charts, some sheets. There's some things. I don't even know what all is in there, but there's a bunch of stuff in there. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. You guys are super amazing. Like I said, thank you to the extra support from our channel members. If you would like to become a channel member or donate, there's a thank you button and a join button you can find right below the video. That stuff helps the channel out big time. But anyways... Thank you guys so much. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. Have a great day. See ya.